Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the last um, page prep kits for when I went to Crop and Create. Now I times it, I did it times eight this time just because uh, this was the fourth video so I just um, didn't want it to be 16 minutes when it's basically the same process that I go through, you know. Um, so first I had chosen all my pattern papers now I'm at the stage where I'm putting together the embellishments and as you see as we progress through the pages I was getting down to the crunch because that week I hurt my back and so I couldn't prep the way I wanted to so I kind of at the last minute I think some of these were done the morning of which I hate doing I like to be completely ready so as you see me towards the end uh, right now I'm, I'm using my uh, my tool with the powder the powder tool and removing the stickiness and just putting the stickers that I want but as I saw the hours getting closer and closer that I needed to get ready <laughs> I all of a sudden start taking sticker sheets and sticking them in and that's not necessarily a bad thing either because where I'm only putting the number of stickers that I want, it's nice to have a few kits that have full sheets of stickers so that when you get there and if there's something else you want to add, well, you got a little bit more stuff to kind of play with. Now, I just uploaded what I packed and I showed you my list. Now, I can tell you I did add some stuff to pack when I go next time. One of the things that I wished I had packed. I just brought my three by four journaling cards from uh, Becky Higgins. I wanna make sure that I pack my four by six cards next time and I wanna make sure that I pack some grid papers to do my journaling. So that's the only thing that I really noticed that I was missing. As far as um, <clears throat> sprays and that kind of stuff, I managed to either use um, my watercolors or something else that I was able to make my splatters with. So I was okay with that. Now, my next one that I'm going to is April 30th, which is just like a month from now. And um, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna, I have some pages left over, but from here till then, I'll probably get some of those done. And, and I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't wanna keep them there. Like again, not wanting to hoard, I just wanna get the pages done and um, <clears throat> so I'll go through the process again with you know it had been a year since I had gone to a crop since last time so I noticed a lot of stuff that yeah I didn't really need to bring that or yes I wish I would have brought that so and next time I'm going to try and get my journaling done which I didn't get done this time because like I said my back was killing me so I ended up doing a lot of this at the last minute, which it still worked out. I did some of the journaling there and then some of the other journaling I'll just do in the next week or so and then I'll stick the pages in um, some albums. Um, so by doing, what I find is by doing it this way is choosing the pattern papers and now I'm choosing my embellishments. I'm finding that as you're playing with the stuff, you're you're seeing it more and more, and that way, you don't have to dig as far to find stuff because you're just like, oh yeah, I just saw something that would be great for you know this tone or um, you know whatever the case may be. So um, even if it's just a specific embellishment, you know, if you saw a heart of a certain color or a giraffe or you know whatever the case may be, you keep looking at your embellishments so you're kind of getting used to what you have and to make it not as overwhelming I didn't you know I didn't take out 50 packages of embellishments I took out the four or five that I had and then a few sticker sheets and then um, if there were certain collections that I wanted to play with, let's say the Amy Tangerine or the Chamel, I kept those close. So if I had those papers, I could just bring out those embellishments. But it was pretty limited, the amount of stuff that I had around me so that it wasn't overwhelming as far as, you know, too much stuff uh, around and then you don't even know where to begin. 
And the same thing with, uh, you know, choosing your pattern papers as your base of your layout. I find the first few I'm struggling, I'm having a hard time uh, matching the papers. And then the more I do it, the easier it becomes. It's the same with the embellishments. Um, the first few, it's a little struggle, but then as you're going through your stuff a little bit more and you know what you have, and like I said in the previous video, uh, it makes it so that I don't have all pages that are pink or all pages that are aqua or teal. Because I'm doing it all of them in a row, I'm trying to make it, you know, different from page to page to page. If I did the last page in blue, then I'll try to do this one in pink or in red. And I find also that I use way less white as the background, which is not a bad thing to use white as the background, but I'm always running out of white cardstock. <laughs> so I have enough pattern papers that it's good if I use pattern papers as the background and it just makes it so that my albums will be a little bit more um, diverse. Altogether, you know, during these videos, I put 15 page kits together and I had approximately 10 left from last year's 70 page kits that I had put together. So I brought those with me and it, I ended up doing um, 10 pages. And I have to say that two of the pages was using the same kit because once I was, once I did my first page, I was like, man, I have so much stuff left over and I really like this color. So I ended up doing two pages with the same page kit. So that can happen too, right? I don't like putting scraps away. Don't like it at all. And that's why I like using kits because then um, I'm, I try to use the pages as much as I can. And that's the one downfall with doing page kits is you have a bunch of leftovers. But uh, if you do what I, you know, what I did was I was putting it everything in a page protector. And then as I was getting quite a bit in there, then I would rummage through that and see if there was any other page that I could put together. So I believe this is the last page kit that I put together before I start packing up my uh, my stuff to go to the crop. And also I packed my, you know, tools and everything, which I've already uploaded the video for that. So the next video is going to be me choosing my photos to go along with these page kits. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I just want to remember, remind you that I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit, to hit the subscribe button. And if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, thank you so much for watching. Bye.